Hello everyone, Neo Dean here and welcome back to Dine Mod. Now, chapter 17 of the story, we're back with Rakshir, the Misty Mountains, goblins that did not end up besieging Lothlorien, and the remaining Mordor orcs are making a move into Rohan, and you're about to find out why. Chapter 17, Wrath of the Horde. A failure, a failure that the Master will know about and punish me for. It is too late to make an attack against the Golden Wood, but I can order the remaining rabble to go elsewhere. Yes, if they cut past the elves and go south into Rohan, the chaos we can cause. All will be forgiven. I will remain my master's most faithful, and he'll reward me for my initiative. With the power he has granted me to assert my will over these cave dwellers, weak minds, I can bring those horsemen to kneel. The orcs I have left will lead the way, find us a perfect theatre to unleash our wrath. All right, let's get into it. East Mnet is not a map I normally uh, play on a lot. In fact, I think the last time I did play it was just when I uh, played on it to complete the uh, the star. I think that might have been the first time I played on it uh, in a dying history. Because, yeah, this is typically a map that I only really play on BFME 1. And we're going with goblins. With Rakshir. He has failed in attacking Lothlorien. He decided to um, bring the goblins back to save his life because that's how he has control over them. Get them drums. We're now no longer restricting ourselves to um, not only be able to get the uh, other goblins and stuff from uh, having enough drums or having Rakshir high enough level. They're already awake. They're currently fighting with everything they have. And, yep. We are just working with what we've got to take over this map. It is protected by a lot of trolls. So I'm surprised the outpost is not protected by trolls. I might let Rohan take it. Just so I don't have to uh, spend the money on it. But yeah, double Rohan. Our ally is already building Doggle Door. That could really come back to bite them, but again, it's got no uh, trolls protecting it, so we might be fine. There's wogs protecting there, so let's not bother with that. Mordor has entered the Rohan base, but they actually closed the gates on them. Mmm, I haven't seen them do that in a while. This is probably going to be a quiet start. There's no other layers to attack other than trolls, and I can actually use the wog ambush on that troll in the back. I'm going to do that. So probably use it to protect the Mordor, but I think the Mordor is fine. Mordor's taking over the outpost right... Wow, there's two outposts right next to each other, really? Where's your outpost? Okay, so there's just two outposts on that side of the map, okay. Anyway, the plan is, get that cave troll close. Then as it's walking, then, then it's, while it's running back, uh, how's things going over here? Fine, they're just running around doing nothing. It's moving back. Some of the wogs on it. It should do some damage. Not a lot, but it did some damage. Okay, Rakshi has the target. Let's get him out. Goblins die. So be it. Get the ruins up. Get the pioneer. Good enough orcs, enough goblins survived even to just do that. And also, Hound of Rage is good for aiding Mordor because I can just use it globally. Yeah, I don't see them dealing with this Rohan very well to begin with, but they have got double door, so their production is doubled. We should be fine. So yeah, Pioneer, instant goblin town. Again, not going Gundabad, not going upgrades. Only goblin town. All that economy for me, baby. Where am I going to build this, though, is the question. Because map doesn't offer a lot of open space. I guess I'm just going to have to build it here. And just hope they don't attack me this side of the map. Okay, let's get these towers built, because I'm going to be protecting Mordor a lot of the time, it looks like. They're the ones that are being targeted. Summon a drum here. That should buff our ally, giving them speed equal to that of the peasants that they are fighting. 
Get some uh, gobos from everywhere. No point in getting archers because they will just instantly die. In fact, most of our units is going to die instantly to those Rohirrim. Yeah, they've got a tower built up. They, they, those um, Rohirrim are not going to do much. Yeah, our job for the early game is just to build up and uh, help the help our ally stay alive. Oh, that poison is spilling out from there. Uh, we need to protect this doggle door first and foremost, I think. But at the moment, let's just protect their base, because that's where all the enemies are, which have massive amounts of experience to give us. If I'd say thick, I don't know why. Um, get these slave holes out here. I can make Goblin Town goblins, but I think for the very beginning of the game, we're just going to want economy. Let's just make sure it's protected. Okay, they're, we've got to deal with this. If we don't, then they lose their settlements, their outposts, which will cripple them tremendously. Can I stop them, though, is the question. He's getting rid of that pitch thrower unit in the back. Summon the wall ambush. Come on. Wall ambush. Come on, wall ambush. Log ambush, yes. Okay, we've saved it for now. Some pantries while we can. Okay, we just need to be the front line for Mordor's large archers roster. I can just poison and weaken the Rohirrim enough that they die. When they make a hero, I can bully it to death. Just keep aware of that. when that happens we can just be there to deal with it Saren is now on the field he can get rid of those uh, cavalry really easily but he needs to protect Doggle Door and make sure he's getting health back because it is currently half health and Rohan is known to make siege early game darkness nice that's going to help both me and him Having that last save hole uh, connected. So instead, we're going to build the loot hoard. Probably should have built it in the back of this, but uh, you, 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 I never learn. Yeah, all the buffs we're just giving each other. I'm going to take over that outpost, actually. Oh, there's a hero. He's unfortunately now in melee, so he's not going to be moving around, so he's going to take less damage from the, the orcs, but that's fine. But the orcs struggling to actually attack him as well. But they didn't attack him. Maybe because there's already a large horde surrounding us. Okay, they're now making their moves against me. I should be making moves against them. Bear Dread's going to die there. I need the Chieftain so I can start getting Pikemen. That's what we just have to spam for this game. Pikemen, because they are making cavalry out of their ass. Let's get the Drawn back here, just so they have more movement to and from their outpost. But they've got Nazgul. They've got counters to their cavalry. I do not, which is why we're losing. But these goblins cost 50 resources each, almost as cheap as uh, our allies' units, so yeah, we're fine. All our units are now moving up north to deal with this enemy. The chieftain is here, we can now start getting some Mario Goblin pikemen, which is what we want. I'll eventually also make the Great Goblin. But just pretend it's not the Great Goblin. Uh, actually, it might not. I might not. I, I might have just decided against it. And I'll kind of said in the story of all this, there's two chieftains leading them all. But uh, we just say that the chieftain we've got is the chieftain we've got. Okay, that's called go ga Gomling? Gamling. Okay, we're starting to get pikemen out as well getting more of them. They may be a bit more expensive, but it is worth it. Uh, what's this? The cost of upgrade, I don't have upgrades to make, so Impoundment of the Wilderment kind of is okay, but not making enough units to do that. Save the Warg Ambush since their units are now dying. All that's left is that one unit of the... Okay, now there's another unit. Let's get the Warg Ambush out here. They're still making more, so let's do something to counter it. 
We've now got two PP. Let's get a Pact of Hatred lay right in front of our allied outpost so it's safer, even even more safe. Make sure I'm using the right one. Uh, Untamed Allegiance. Yep, yeah, that's the right one. Probably just can't use it that close to that outpost. Troll, lovely. Now we can destroy this outpost of theirs. And in fact, let's try and push our entire army over there as well. Kill that Rohirrim unit. That was an Aomer. Where is Aomer? He's in there and he's dying. Okay, no point to use the Orc ambush then. Okay, they've been pushed back, so let's not push in ourselves. Let's just get our army in here. Okay, there's the, there's the other outpost on that side of the map. Another air murder style, sounds like. Castellans of Dogledore on the field. Nice. They need to protect them. They want to get the most out of them. Any heroes over here? I don't see any. Pound on the wild shore to get that. Goblin lair, thank you very much. Could have made a bit troll lair, but I'm still sticking with the theme of just mostly goblins. I'm getting trolls some other things. Got lucky with the, the uh, lottery with the lottery there. Rack here, don't die on me. Well, I hate how his... that, that's, that's why I don't like to have him do the killing, even though he does more damage than everyone else. Because his pathing isn't the best, and he then just walks into the enemy bases. Okay, once our stables is gone, we're safe. To... That's actually it's, it's over for scavenger. I'm feeling like it. Some of those bullies on gambling. Let's not go into a stupid position to do it though. Troll kill off the archers. Or gambling, that works too. Okay, the outpost is being overwhelmed. The enemy's outpost over here is being overwhelmed slightly. That's some good news. But well, they have bashing rams, troll. Your job is to get rid of those bashing rams at all costs. They could destroy the lair that you're made from. Let's not let that happen. Don't need them, just need them. Get me more pantries. Oh, those are not heroes, but they are drafted um, soldiers, so they are stronger than usual soldiers. Those are archers, I don't know where they are going. If they're going to make that outpost, I'm going to be annoyed. They're trying to. Stop them. Stand in front of them. Don't let them make that outpost. There we go. We distract them enough that they move away from the outpost. Kill them. They are horse archers after all. They're not that powerful. Not sure what background I'm supposed to do to protect them, but hey, you do what you want to do. Scavenger! I get money for every kill. Oh, hi, how dear. You here, you here to die by troll? Not sure what you'd call that in the industry. Buff this troll so it can try and kill Haldir. And it might just kill Haldir. Oh, almost. What a shame. That money would have been good as well. That's a level 5 troll, by the way. <laughs> Let's build this outpost. And I'm going to go Mountain Giants, actually. I don't want to repeat of last time where we're waiting 20 minutes to destroy the enemy base. Let's just let's just cut to the chase here. We're goblins. We don't care. We we start losing strength as we reach enter the late game. So we're getting our strength up now. And let's get those cave bats out here. So what's going on in there? 
Yeah, they've got they've got their army sitting in there doing nothing, which is stopping them from helping the ally, uh, stop, stopping them from weakening our allies, so they can push in as well. Let's uh, move up there, Pioneer. You can build another goblin town much further into the map this time. Build it here. Build another fissure because I'm feeling like being a bastard. And in fact, there's a wild lair up there. Let's take it with Pax of Hatred. Ratshir's voice of influence. They want some of this. The last one's getting ready. Get Gorkil onto his melee form. Archers are useless against Rohan. They should not be um, encouraged. They've lost Ogledore. Hmm, that's bad. If I keep pushing... If I keep pushing forward, is that better than helping my ally survive? I think they'll be fine. They've got three crapper ports on the base. They, they'll be fine. I'm better off keeping this AI in the base at all times. And not letting them just run around and do whatever they want. Okay, they've locked us out. Let's just move, move back then. Move back for now. Let's make sure they're kept back. Um, no, don't need to help them yet. We're not that desperate yet. They've got darkness down. How are they recruitment building? Still fine. I'm going to build this on the other side. They might get distracted by that. I see no siege on there. No, I do see some siege on there. Okay, I need to I need to go back and help, I think. I think it's safe to say I need to go back and help a little bit. While still harassing this enemy somehow. Destroying their gates. But yeah, I need to be back here and helping my ally now. We we tried waiting and hope hoping the AI would just die. But no, they pushed in a bit too far, doing a bit too much damage. We don't want our ally to die. That would be too bad. That would be too much of a hassle to deal with. Get more of these slave holes on the field. And there's no point in getting Goblin Town, Goblin Town. Obviously, I'm not getting the Great Goblin. Goblin Town's purpose is just to give us more of what we already have. Summon a lair just to the side, distract them a bit while I'm trying to protect my ally. Don't let them destroy those outposts without a fight. Build the tunnels in the deep. Stomp those pikemen, stomp those pikemen. Beautiful work. Like I rid of that pitch throw unit. Have we saved them yet? No. Keep trying to save them then. Thank you for the banners of the Red Eye. Half the army can now move back here to make sure they're not pushing forward. Get out of here. Get the slap. Okay, Gore Killer or the Chieftain has been overseeing that mission. Successful. And now we can move back into this fight over here. Need some more goblin pikemen to keep dealing with the cavalry. Yeah, this is the, this is the power of mountain giants. They just can't be stopped. That's a goblin lair and a uh, wild lair on top of each other. That'll just keep distracting them, so let, it, let that be. some wilds in here to deal with their archers and to potentially come back and aid Rohan in another time of need. But I think Dog will, the uh, the orcs have made a comeback. Yeah, they're, they're coming back already. Meanwhile, I've got an army of mountain giants that are about to destroy them. 
Physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, all that jazz. Is all got upgraded at all? Nope, just the same goblins as before. That's fine. We're still getting more mountain giants, just to say, yeah, this is the power of the of the, what the AI does. But I'm doing it now. Because I'm spiteful. <laughs> I'm spiteful, I don't want my ally to die, so yes, that's why I'm doing it. Summon that totem. Morlor has been touching their base, but then they keep getting pushed back because they're not doing anything smart with it. That's awaken a worm to aid them in their attacks. Even if only slightly. How's that Wogler still alive? No, you, you were focusing. Ignore it. It no longer matters to you. No longer matters to me. So it no longer matters to you. Build that drum. Mountain Giants, all of you are going to attack that citadel in the back. You're going to destroy that lair. Because I feel like you deserve it. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. No one can tell me these mountain giants are not busted. You can say whatever you want. I'm going to stick by my belief that this is the most stupid unit in the game. And I'm just proving why by spamming them. It doesn't feel good, but I'm I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, more money, why not? And those discounts because, you know, it's not like we're not using them. Because we aren't. I don't know why I said that like we weren't using them. Uh, how's the worm done over here? Pretty good, honestly. And it's still alive. And does sizable damage to those buildings whenever they have the chance to. Oh, those mountain giants are dying. Need more goblins to protect them. new giants. Rise! Thank you, Banners of the Red Eye. Love you, Mordor. Best faction in the game to have as an ally. Those pipemen just walked straight through us and I took no damage. You actually shouldn't be there. That's too close to the, to the front. On your own as well. You're, you're not that brave. You are typically pretty cowardly. At least that's how I invented you. How's the fight over here going? Good. Good. It's going good. More giants needs to rise from the... I was about to say graves, but no, the tunnels. From their fissures. You're going to be falling back, Rakshir, is what's gonna, what it's going to be. As we get rid of these flower mills. Ending this Rohan AI once and for all. All I can say about this is yeah. You can't tell me to shut up. Okay, that should be one AI down. You're not about to die, Rex here, are you? No, you're fine. You're not getting you're not the one getting pelted by stones. That was easy. And they're dead. Now that just leaves this AI over here to deal with. And now they've got two enemies to deal with, so good luck to them, I guess. That's all I can say to that. Good luck to them. Actually, you stay back. You you heal. You're no fighter. Didn't design to be a fighter. Designed you to be a leader. A very cowardly leader, but still a leader nonetheless. that poison on there so you can fight on par with those uh, 
peasants. And we might actually get to see... Um, who's his name in action? The Balrog. I've not used him in a while. I've had to fight him a lot. But I've not used him in a while. Look at all those mountain giants. Oh my god. Someone, someone in the Adine team must love this unit to let them be this strong still. They were this strong in Adine 3.8, by the way, for those that didn't play Adine 3.8. They were just this strong then as well. I think a little bit easier to get since you can only get them from outposts. On a map with less outposts, this would be a lot less stupid. How's my mortal ally doing? They're just sitting there, so, you know, they're doing fine. To summon these units. Have the enemy distracted before the mountain giants come in and just destroy everything they love. And let's start with their gate. They're one form of protection against us. The one thing that stands between them and everything we have to throw at them. Good. We want those spiders to bite. Not us, obviously. We want them to bite the enemy. I like gate holding up. Not very good for long. And that should be it. Now moving. Get rid of their citadel before they make Ents or Haldir. You know, the two things that we hate to deal with. Yeah, look at that. Even walking through, even pikemen walking through us. Uh, or even us walking through Pikemen is not a problem. They're breaking. Oh, well, there goes the spider's lair. Oh, well. You live, you learn. I'm sorry, I've not been able to do enough for a lot of orc rushes because the AI just made their heroes. Then we killed them all. Okay, what's this going to make me? Oh my god, it makes me of a mountain giant. <laughs> that is actually troll. That is actually troll. I know the other units are garbage. We're giving us a mountain giant? Guess it's on a pretty small timer, but still, that is a full mountain giant we have now just have access to. With our hero as well, nonetheless. I mean, that's, not our, that's not our enemy's battering rams. That's our battering rams now, technically. Make that totem. Where's our orcs? Oh, they're all at the front. Forge is gone. They've got no more siege in them. Give them the boot. Dead. Now go back to throwing stones at them. And this is what they get for being against the Misty Mountains. This is what they get. <laughs> this is the suffering they get for daring to fight the Misty Mountains. You've on your bow. This is what they get for thinking that Double Rohan could be a Mordor and Misty Mountains. If I had left my ally on the on their own this game, they would have definitely died three times over. I've saved their asses more time than I can count. Oh, and just before the end, we can summon the barrels to destroy our entire army to combine. Because who doesn't love the Balrog? He got to see the victory screen. Look at those giants. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountain giants. And that is not including the summon either. That is ten mountain giants I summoned. I lost a few, but yeah, Jesus. I'm a monster. <laughs> oh. And that was only a 22 minute game because I did that mountain giant push. If I hadn't done that, we'd have had to keep protecting the, our ally. We are the only ones that have stupid resources at the end of that. Look at that. Everyone else could barely touch our resources. 23,000 wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Honestly, Misty Mountains are too powerful. I hope in 4.7 they give them some kind of nerf. It is necessary, okay? <laughs> hope you all enjoyed this. And I'll see you all next time. Farewell. Victory.
Squashing those peasants was so satisfying. Surely this victory will prove my devotion to my master's cause. We need to continue striking at the feeble men of the West. With each victory against them, they will grow desperate, making way for my master to shatter their hopes with one fell strike. Without the orcs by my side anymore, my power over the goblin rabble is faltering. The river forces of Kyrandros will give me an opening to escape back to Mordor and request more reinforcements. Quickly now, before my influence over these goblins wears out.